Jedediah, you're yeah. nodding in agreement with Obama. Why? No. <laughs> no, I mean, this portrays him in his own words. This is what he said. There's no better ad the GOP could have created than to just present his own words and say, no, actually, uh, you did say that. Mm -hmm. He wasn't talking about roads and bridges. He was talking about businesses, and his own words present that as plain as day to me. Mm, okay, Jonathan. You claim to be a reporter? Yeah, well, as somebody who's uh, <laughs> never uh, worked remotely hard, never <laughs> owned a business, never <laughs> been significantly employed, and never built anything more than a Lego dinosaur, and I did that, to be fair to the president, with the help of my father, um, I'm uniquely unqualified to comment on this. <laughs> but I do wish we'd talk about some real issues, really. Yeah. Bridges, roads, you know. Yeah, I love this because, you know what? Summer. This is great stuff to talk about because it fills buckets of time. Uh, yeah. Speaking of yeah. buckets, Jimmy, uh, you built a couple of businesses over your life. See my son, by the way? Yeah. He's built dozens of companies and they've, uh, a lot of failed, right? That's the story of being an entrepreneur, right? Yeah. He's built, uh, he, he sold at least two startups, right? <laughs> and that's what Obama doesn't get. That when you are a successful businessman, you got a slew of failures behind you. Yeah. And that's ironic, because you look at his bloody failures with a, what's that solar company, Cylindra? <laughs> and Fast and Furious, all these stupid ideas, right? They go down the toilet. But the thing about an entrepreneur is, when he screws up, right, he's beholden to the people that invest in. Then he goes bankrupt, he's got to remortgage the house. Obama can't fail. He doesn't understand <laughs> that no. the secrets to getting rich, it sucks. It's bloody hard. You have to go out there and fail and get crapped on and all that. Yeah. <laughs> and I think the reason this is such a polarizing quote is everyone who's made some money sees that and goes, see you, you b I worked my ass off. My wife almost left me when I remortgaged a house for this stupid project, this pet rock idea. But it took off, you b <laughs> right. In fairness, well, anyone in government who's been like a civil rights, whatever the hell he is, a community <laughs> organizer, just goes, see him, he's rich. Look at all those people working down there. They're making him rich. Aye, but he wasn't rich to begin with. The guy from Walmart went door to door selling crap. Right, two thirds of the country's billionaires made their money for scratch. All right. Two thirds of the world's billionaires, by the way. That's no just America. Two thirds of the world's bloody billionaires made their money for scratch. All right. Chew on that, you bloody idiot. You know, if we turn the volume down, people would just think this is Hitler in a tartan. <laughs> I know. Oh my gosh. Hitler Bill. never made a dime, by the way. All right, all right. Bill, okay. The way I, it's, it's, I'm not going to compare. Pair the two, though. I've seen how that goes. All right, all right. I want to get Bill in before we take a break. Isn't it? But basically, the candidates aren't talking to each other. It's almost like they're in a therapy session where uh, one candidate says, "Well, he said this," yes. and then, then somebody else goes, "I didn't say that. I said this." And then the other candidate goes, "Nah." -uh. Instead of talking to each other, they talk through ads. It's like being in marriage therapy. Yeah, no, but it's worse than that. Like bickering can be entertaining if it's clever. This is just awful. Uh, Lincoln Douglas debates it's not. I say that because I have PBS. <laughs> Don't watch it, but I've seen the previews. Uh, and secondly, we did build this. We did build this. I'll give it that. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, it sounds so simple a third grader can understand it, which is interesting because a third grader wrote it. One of Mitt Romney's uh, grandkids, one of the 500,000 of them, actually wrote that. Fun fact, all of them are named Mitt. No, they're Even not. Even the chick. That, that is a lie. That, That's no you truth. that is not that true. Up. They are all Shut up now. I want to go to a break. <laughs> Clean up this mess. He's spilling water all over the place with his pounding fist. <laughs> oh, just look at this bloody wall. Yeah, but every time then somebody's got to clean it up. Oh, do you like the rain? Did you use an umbrella too? I don't <laughs> like water. Oh, it's going to get me. <laughs> it's a good point. We don't use umbrellas in Glasgow. What do you use? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing? You take it, you weep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. Uh, <laughs> Do you have a comment on the show? <laughs> Email us at redeyefoxnews.com and I'll leave a voicemail on my direct line 212 462 5050. Still to come, the halftime report from TV's Andy <laughs> Levy. <laughs> mm. uh, 
uh, Romney Obama ads. Uh, the only thing I really have about this is uh, NPR interviewed a behavioral psychologist at Duke who recently did a study asking people to what extent they think that their candidates, uh, that it's okay for their candidates to be dishonest if it promotes their political agenda. And he found that people were generally okay with politicians from their own party being dishonest to help them get elected. Mm. Yeah. Sounds about right. That's sad. Yeah. He is did, it sad? He yeah. did find also, <laughs> this is a quote from him, this was slightly more endorsed position, uh, a slightly more endorsed position for Democrats and Republicans, so the Democrats are more willing for their politicians to lie than the Republicans. I, because they're bloody communists. They love the ends justifying the means. That's how they live. They start at the end. See, this is the thing with the left. They get a thing of cards, right? They go, I want this to be a royal flush. They don't take the, the cards of dealt. They go, oh, that's no royal flush. All right, take a sharpie. Ten, Jack, Queen, eight. <laughs> right, royal flush. Here we go. I would like to give a shout out to whoever has to do the closed captioning for this program. <laughs> <laughs> my, that is going to be awesome. My, that is my, bloody racist. So my, is. my thoughts and prayers are with you, sir, and your man. <laughs> I'm done. The scary thing is, is I'm beginning to understand everything yes. he says. Yeah. Time passes. I know it's like Shakespeare. Yeah. You get into a Glaswegian iambic pantama, I you can understand every bloody one. As long as you've watched So I Married an Axe Murderer, it, there's no problem understanding. <laughs> <laughs> He's no scotch. Thank you, Andy. Coming up, what do kittens dream about? It's not a story, just something Shep texted me today. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jimmy, uh, this is pretty universal, right? Bosses throwing pool parties just to see their female employees half naked. No, this is bloody ridiculous. This is an absolute travesty. It's a crime. Yeah. The thing about you Americans, I was at a bloody water park, right? Roller park? Water park. <laughs> water park. <laughs> and it was indoors. Uh-huh. Right? No sun. You're not going to get sunburned. And these... These guys have got water shirts on. Grown men yeah. my age because they don't want you to see their boobies. <laughs> They've got this age of vanity. It's absolutely embarrassing. A woman's, oh, I'm a bit fat. All I did was make three human beings out of my vagina and I don't have a six pack. Yeah. How did we get here? Yeah, Who cares, by have. the way? Yeah. I'm completely nude at all times. I don't <laughs> care. You don't. Jedediah, what advice would you give in this situation? Should females sport be bikinis at office pool parties Wear a question i never thought i would ask i'm always pro bikini no matter the job no matter the place in fact i'd be wearing one right now if you guys didn't tell me no send the hate mail to them we would never say Why? That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> jonathan never i have nothing that. to say uh do bosses care that much if younger employees don't show up to this i place? don't know i've always been an old employee yeah i was born 50 <laughs> i'm british after all but again again we are back to contoured bodysuits, the answers to everything. That is true, baby. Mm. It's not like when you see someone fat with a big shirt, you go, oh, they might be slim. <laughs> you know you're huge. Yeah, that's Just true. Just be huge. Yeah, you're not hiding much. Bill, as your boss, I've requ requested numerous times to see you in a bikini, yet you still deny me. What gives? You never pay attention to my man on the streets. <laughs> Every other scene, I, I whack for you. <laughs> uh, I'll stop the world and wax for you. Ooh, the B-side. <laughs> um, this girl definitely doesn't work in media. Yeah. Because if she worked in media, she would know that there could be a party at the Waldorf and someone in media will be wearing a bikini. <laughs> yes. Uh, so this, yes, exactly. So this is clearly a Wall Street type gig. I don't want to see anybody I know in its swimwear. I oh. do. But it's a pool I want to see you in the thing. nude. I want to see your <laughs> I'm interested. I can tell just by his grin. I have a clue. No in a gateway, just as a pal. <laughs> just as a pal. Okay. Do we not? Sure, we'll right. compare. Next story. Take a break. <laughs>